Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Right, in today's video, I'm going to be darkening up the fretboard of this guitar. This is my, uh, what is it? Is it a 50, 59 Esquire? I think it is Custom Shop. And um, just in case, you know, if you don't know any history about this guitar, I, I put another pickup in the neck just to make it more, more useful. I love this guitar. This is probably my favourite guitar. But ever since I've owned it, which has got to be, I guess, getting on for five five six years now the only thing that i don't like about this guitar is the fingerboard as you'll see it's very light and especially for a custom shop so what i thought i'd do in today's video i've been sent this by greg thanks greg for sending this over this is monte presso fingerboard wax now if you don't know what this is this is uh, it's made by monte's guitars in the uk and i mean it's basically sort of furniture wax but the claim is that it will turn the look of your guitar into a much more vintage looking guitar. So a guitar with like a traditional sort of Brazilian rosewood sort of fingerboard on it. Now, even though this guitar is rosewood, it does look a little bit Palferro ish, which I think by darkening it up, it's going to make it look so much better. So first job is to remove the strings. On Monty's website, it does say you've got to clean the fingerboard first, but literally I had this cleaned uh, the last string change, so it doesn't actually need that. Let's put it down there. It also said to wear gloves. Now I'm guessing this is going to stain my fingers like anything. I haven't got any gloves, so we're just going to have to uh, we're just going to have to go with it. But it says to apply it generously, so let's dig in. and smear it all over the fingerboard. It also said to apply it generously, so that's why I'm caking it on. Right, so it's on, and it's pretty horrible stuff to be honest. It's all over my hands, as it said, wear some gloves. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this for 48 hours, as it says on the website, and we'll come back and see how it looks then. Just so you can see the difference, here's another fender, but look how much darker the wood is on this neck. And I know this is a master built, so it's going to be the best of the wood, but that's still a custom shop, so that should have, or to me, that should have been a much darker piece of rosewood. So that's what I want it to look like. So let's see if it works. Okay, so it's about 48 hours later. I've left it a couple of days and I think it's time to remove all this gunk that is all over this fretboard. I've got to be honest, it's horrible stuff. I mean, I picked it up and I rubbed it against my arm, got it all over my arm and stuff, but it's, um, yeah, it's been sitting there for 48 hours. So let's see, let's see if it's improved the color of the fingerboard. Let's get it off. Actually, initial impressions, that has worked really well. And it's really brought out the grain. I don't know if you can see it if I hold it up against this camera, but it's really brought out the grain in the wood. So where before, as I said, it looked a little bit like uh, Pau Ferro, it now looks like a really nice expensive rosewood which is what it should be being a custom shop now the only thing i would say about this uh wax is that it really gets right under the frets or right in the edges of the frets so i guess you've got to be quite vigorous with uh, sort of scraping it out with with your nail but um yeah that's done a really nice job actually Ugh, stuff's horrible so there you go there is the fretboard with the stain on it. Now, it has made a big difference. It really has. But anyway, let's get some strings on it.
so there you go. Now let's compare it against my strap. The one we had to look at earlier. Now if you look now, it is still lighter. It's definitely lighter, but it definitely looks a lot better than it did. Let me know what you guys think. Is that worth doing? Now I should probably tell you that this stuff here, this Monty's Monte Presso wax, is about 20 pounds a tin. Now, how much have I used up? I mean, an eighth of it. So you can pretty much say that's gonna last you a lifetime. So 20 quid for a lifetime of treating your fingerboards and making them look nice and making them feel nice and actually looking after them. It's probably not such a bad deal, is it? Anyway, as always, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from The Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.